Mayor, did you know that I drained our bank? It's shameful what I have done. Mayor, did you know that I should have asked? I may have bought a few guns, but did you know that you're beautiful and you are my queen? Today I bought my 100th AR-15! Wait, what? Oh, no, uh, mm, mm -mm. Take it back. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. My name is Matt and this is Skinny Vinny. He's seen better days, but he's wearing a great Yee Yee shirt. Looking, looking nice there, Vin. Vinny is sporting a brand new sport coat. And it's a special sport coat. I actually got this thing from Israel. Special ordered. It is a bulletproof suit jacket. Completely bulletproof. It's actually like a vest bulletproof. Like, it goes down through here. The arms are not bulletproof. And it actually fits very awkwardly. Let me put it on for you and model it. Check me out. Don't I look amazing? So, uh, as soon as you put this thing on, you can tell it's it does not feel like a regular suit jacket. This is the actual inner bulletproof liner right there. And I assume it's just got some Kevlar in there. It, they basically took a Kevlar vest and just stitched a jacket over it. That's as fancy as it got. Um, if you wore this anywhere, everyone would be like, what is wrong with you? Because it just looks, it looks strange. Also, this is a large, which should fit me. I'm a normal, um, a normal sized human and I normally wear large things. Ah! So anyway, either my muscles are much bigger than normal or they make people way smaller over in Israel. Because this thing does not fit a large person. Easy. This suit jacket is level 3A, which means it can stop up to a 44 Magnum. So we're gonna find out if it'll stop up to a 44 Magnum. And possibly beyond. First up, my favorite gun, the 25 Auto. We're gonna be firing at his left, hit his, his right, my left side of Mr. Blue Man Group over here. One there, one there. One went through the arm there as he was falling. Looks like another one there, another one there. No penetration. Sorry, Braveheart. John Wick's bulletproof suit was a little bit nicer than the one we have. But let's go ahead in John Wick fashion, shoot the Terran Tactical. Combat Master, nine millimeter. I'm going at his right side once again. About took his arm right off. Sorry, just got, I got lost in his pectorals. Definitely crumpled up in here, but no holes in the inside. It caught the nine millimeter. So let's go bigger. 45 ACP out of the old Glock. 41. Same side as before. Woo! Pretty easy to see the 45 ACP hole, but nothing made it through. We are about to max out this suit's potential. This is a 44 Magnum round shot out of my Taurus Raging Hunter. But I paid $600 for this stupid suit just to destroy it for you guys. So I have to say thanks to our sponsor, Simply Safe. Simply Safe is incredibly effective, reliable, and intuitive both to set up and to use home security. They will make sure that your home is safe. Simply Safe protects like a pro. They have 24/7 professional monitoring and 3.5 times faster police dispatch. And that is because the Simply Safe specialist can notify police if the intruder is in the house, if they are armed, and what exactly they are doing. Simply Safe is modern, comprehensive. They protect your home inside and out. Outside, they have video doorbells, HD cameras to alert you to anyone approaching your home. Smart 
locks and entry sensors guard the perimeter and inside they have a layer of motion detectors and glass break sensors plus privacy protecting cameras provide another layer of protection. It is the number one expert recommended home security. Police departments use it all over the country and over 3 million people rely on Simply Safe every day. This is the new Simply Safe lock. It makes sure your home is always secure by making sure that your home is always locked. The majority of break-ins occur through unlocked entry points. You get an alert whenever anyone unlocks or locks it, so when your kids get home in the afternoon, you'll know. When the contractors leave your house, you'll know. You can also grant access from anywhere to anyone at any time. So if your family members are coming into town but you're still at work, you can unlock the door for them as soon as they get there. Please visit simplysafe.com slash demo ranch to learn more and we greatly appreciate Simply Safe's continued support of Demolition Ranch through all these hard times of demonetization and adpocalypses. We love you, Simply Safe. Here's the deal, I want this suit to fail because I think it's super dumb. No one's actually gonna ever wear this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it the best chance of going through. We're gonna continue shooting on that same side, but now with a 44 Magnum. 44 Magnum got piled right on top of that 45 ACP shot, which is pretty much the worst possible scenario for Vinny. But did it go through? No, but punched really hard. Look how close that, I mean, that's where it hit, but nothing went through. Well, Vinny, we're just gonna have to take it a little off label and go even more powerful. How about the old fan favorite, the 30 carbine, but you know, out of a pistol. For those who don't know, this is a very common old rifle round. And then someone thought it'd be a good idea to put it in a pistol. And the fireball is, oh, it's something magical. Same spot. So the beauty of this is it is a rifle round, so it's going very fast. Hopefully fast enough to get through armor. The way to beat armor is with speed. I think one of these holes is our 30 carbine hole. I don't think that one is. Still nothing. Dang, Israel. Got a little challenge for you guys right now. Check this out. In my left hand, this is a 5.7 by 28 round, the 5.7. I'm gonna shoot it out of my pistol, the FN 5.7. This round is very fast and has had some controversy in the past because it is very good at getting through body armor. This round is a 500 Magnum. Crazy big, crazy power, hurts your hand every time you shoot it, tons of power, way more than this one, but not going as fast. Which do you think will go through? This one, this one, both, neither? Comment below, 5.7 versus 500, which one's going through? Went ahead and loaded up the 30 round mag with, uh, with one round, because one's all you need. Here we go, I'm going at Vinny's left side now, my right, fresh target. It seemed like it might have gone through. Perfect shot there. It stopped. Holy cow. Boys, we got a 5.7 stopper up in here. All right, so those of you that said that would stop, you're halfway there. What about the 500? It's everybody's favorite gun to watch me shoot. 500 Magnum. <laughs> You can do this, Matt. Oh, yeah, you can do this. She <laughs> broke his arm off. Ow, God. <laughs> High five and, oh no, low five. Okay, um, you can see the entry hole, that's for sure. Oh, man. Oh, that's, that's not good. <laughs> When you have bulletproof vest in your chest. Gah. All right guys, here's the lesson of the day. Never doubt 500 Magnum. Golly, that is crazy. But it didn't penetrate. I think the bullet's still in there. I may have got a new gun or two. This is a Black Aces Tactical Pro Series S Max, and it is a semi-auto 
12 gauge shotgun. I went ahead and put the salvo on there too. Whew. Oh, check this out. Look at that, got the demo ranch on it. All right, we are going to go ahead and pump Skinny Vinny full of lead. We have birdshot loaded in this thing, and I'm gonna see how well this thing runs with some low brass birdshot. Vinny, you ready? He wasn't ready. You gotta admit, that's a good looking package. So I knew birdshot wasn't going to penetrate it, but I thought maybe we can just beat it up enough that later rounds will start making it through. How do we do? So this is the outside of it. This was the actual suit. Just like I said, they just kind of put a suit jacket over a bulletproof vest. It actually tore it up pretty good. And what does the inside look like? Perfectly fine. That's okay. We've got double lot buckshot too. Did you like what I was doing with the sun there? It looked really cool. My other new gun is also from Black Aces Tactical. It's also a shotgun. You can see it's silver and black. And it's a lever action shotgun. I've actually never fired a lever action shotgun before. <laughs> All right, we have her loaded up with double lot buckshot. I have a feeling his top may come off of his bottom, like last time. All right. Here we go, Vincent! Still alive? Just disrobed him. No, I can't, I can't. Oh no! Vincent! I figured out what those are. That's when it was turned sideways and I fired one into the side of it. Nothing actually went through and hit Vincent. Yeah, those were hit from this side. So, I don't think anything actually went through. Those were all hit like this. Here is where those double-lot pellets from the back hit. All stopped. One ounce slug, 1,560 feet per second. I don't think it's gonna go through either. Let's go at his upper right shoulder area. Oh, God, that hit hard. This is kind of cool. Where did it hit? Vincent. There's our slug. So this is where the 500 Magnum came through. You can see it pulled all of that Kevlar with it. Same deal on the slug. The slug is still in there. I can feel it right here. A big hard piece of metal. But it is not in Vincent. Oh no. Oh no. So just because the bullet doesn't go in him doesn't mean it doesn't punch him really hard and cave in his back. Okay, I'll give it to him. That thing stops stuff, a lot of stuff. We shot it with everything it said it would stop, it stopped it. We shot it with way more, and it stopped it. But it can't stop everything. This is the Maxim PDX, chambered in 762 by 39 It is a rifle round going very fast. Even though it shot out of this pistol, it will still go straight through that armor. It should. We're gonna go bottom right. And where is it? Right here. That's our hit. That's our hit. Straight through. Take that jacket. Can't stop them all. It looks good, right? I mean, once you shoot Kevlar, it gets a bit deformed and doesn't flatten out anymore. But I feel like I'd go to the party and I'd look totally fine. No one would know that something was up. <laughs> Merry Christmas to all of you. I hope Santa brings you lots of guns. I just hope your whole tree is covered in guns when you wake up in the morning. That would be my perfect Christmas. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you and I'll see you next time. And next time, we're gonna shoot bulletproof bras. Contact! That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Bobby! <laughs> I'm a doctor. Ish.